Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Soap Studio Albus Dumbledore, which is a 1 12th scale action figure with clothes on it. You guys know I don't collect those, but they send them to me to review them for you guys, because I know at least some of you guys do, and they like the honest reviews, so thanks to them for providing this for review. Uh, this one is much in line with the Newt figure. It definitely shows that they have developed their skills in producing these tiny little people with clothes on them. Uh, we definitely have a few issues, but there are definitely some really nice things about this figure. Primarily the clothing and the articulation is definitely starting to work out a little bit better as well. So we're going to talk about all of that. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 16 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to 6 and a quarter inches, which would probably make him a little bit too tall for true 112 scale, but not by that much. He'd be about 6'4". No, 6'3". Maybe he's 6'3", I don't know. So that's, that's okay, that's definitely well within the reasonable sizing. And like I mentioned, their clothing is definitely getting better. We have this really nice jacket on the outside, there is a little bit of wiring in there to help you pose it around but it's very well executed. Do the pockets work? That's a good question. I haven't tried it. Here, let's try it with this hand instead. Because I doubt it's gonna be very easy to get his hand in there because of the limitations of the shoulder, but let's see. We have seen functional pockets from them in the past. I'll be a monkey's uncle. It works. He's got functional pockets. See, I love that kind of stuff. Like, I don't like collecting clothing on clothed, clothed? Figures with clothes on them, but, well, we're just gonna leave that in there for now. Uh, I love things like that, and they really put a lot of detail in this guy. These guys are definitely not functional. Are the pants pockets functional? Should we lose another hand in the pocket? Let me just get this one out. All right. Okay, let's see if the pant pockets are functional. Oh my goodness, they are. Yeah, you can get it in better. I'm just not gonna bother, because I'll get it stuck in there. Functional jacket, functional pants pockets. I love that stuff. So like I said, their clothes are definitely getting better. The scaling is definitely looking better. They're a lot less bulky. You can see that looks reasonably bulky. Like that is perfectly fine. No problem at all with that. I love it. Great job on the clothes, guys. They are just really nailing it. I don't like the tie. The tie doesn't really look like a tie. So that's definitely a bummer, but plenty of other good stuff. The shoes this time though, they do have paint on them, but they're lacking a little bit of finish. They look a little bit just too plasticky for me. And I don't know if this is how he was in the movie, but he doesn't have any socks or anything on, so his pants just reveal his bare ankles and it looks really weird. If it was like that in the movie, then that's fine, but maybe he's like a weird guy that has the no socks in the shoes thing, but otherwise that definitely looks weird. Another thing I wanna point out, uh, this is an accessory, but as far as the clothes go, since we're already talking about it, you can take the jacket off on this guy and give him just a regular suit coat, which is pretty cool. Uh, it does work. I did it off camera. I'm, it, it's a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to do it on camera. It's a waste of time. It does work. That's all you need to know. If you're into buying it, you can spend the time to swap them out. It works just fine. If you don't trust me, then you shouldn't be watching the review anyway. Okay, now here's the one thing that I think really sets this figure back. If you look at it from this angle, that looks exactly like, what's his name? Jude Law. That looks exactly like Jude Law. Like, perfect. If you look at it from this angle, that looks almost exactly like Jude Law. Really excellent. If you look at it from this angle, which unfortunately is the more important angle, it loses almost all of the Jude Law-ness. So, I don't know what happened there, but that angle is perfect. Not. So you can decide for yourself what you think about that. Obviously, it's not a good thing for it to not look like him from the front, but from the side, and even like the three-quarter view, it's excellent. So somehow, something happened in the production that threw it off from the front view. That almost looks like old Justin Timberlake. That looks like Jude Law. Very interesting, but the paints on the head and the face are nice, just not accurate from the front view. So, aesthetically speaking, I'm gonna give this guy only an eight. The clothes look great, the face looks great sometimes, Eight seems appropriate. It's probably the best looking set of clothes we've seen from them yet, so that's pretty cool. Now, as far as the accessories go, we do have his hat. It is a plastic hat, it does fit on his head. It is covered in the fuzzy stuff that you see on things sometimes. 
Um, be careful that will rub off if you like grind it against other plastic or something like that. I don't think you would be doing that, but be careful with that, but that's kind of cool. We have the two kind of relaxed hands that come on him in the package. Then we have two fists and one where he's holding like a thing. Then we have three gloved hands, one for holding a thing and then two relaxed. We do have what I assume is his wand, some kind of card thingy, something that looks like a little perfume bottle. I don't know what that is. We have four little rat thingies. And like I mentioned, we do have his actual cloth jacket, which is very nicely done. And lastly, we have his little display stand. So that's a pretty nice batch of accessories. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a uh, nine, I guess. Nine seems pretty good. That's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a nine. And now we come to the articulation, which is notoriously a problem for clothed figures, whether it's this scale or one six scale, or heck, even, even fully sized people have trouble with articulation if they're wearing enough layers. And that's essentially what's happening down here at the smaller scale. Let's see how the head works. It's on a ball peg. It doesn't want to pop off like the other guys. That's pretty good. That's really good actually. Nice range, not popping off. It's the neck and then on top of the neck you have two separate ball pegs up here and then down in here. That's really nice. That seems to be an improvement for sure. Shoulders are on a ball peg connected into the torso so you can like shimmy the whole thing around. And then you have your traditional hinge, but of course you do get bunching and you can kind of mess around with it to get better range, but the more layers, the less range. But you can get it out to horizontal there. If you want to bring it forward, you have to kind of keep rotating the clothing to allow that to happen. It can get there, but it does get bunchy and you're gonna have to spend a lot of time finagling it to get it to look okay. But the range is technically there. You do have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, really good range. The wrists are on ball hinges now, so that gives you a lot more range and versatility. They're super tiny, be super careful, but you do get that in these figures now. Diaphragm joints and one at the crotch, also another ball peg. So if he wasn't wearing a tight vest and multiple layers, you could do it. As it is, you just get minimal range. Though I doubt this guy was doing a whole lot of kung fu in the movie, so that's probably okay, and I guess that's what they're going for. And that's probably what the fans want. He does have ball hinge hips, or at least ball peg hips that give him the same uh, effective range. Though they do seem kind of low on this guy, and because of that, and also because of the pants, you can't really spread the legs too much. Which again is probably okay, technically speaking, but I'm here to show you the engineering, so that's, that's the limitation. Bringing the leg forward, also pretty limiting unless you pull the pant leg up, which does expare, expare, expose the bare ankles. You get decent range out of it, I guess. It's not a ton, but again, for this guy, it's probably okay. There's a thigh swivel in there, double jointed knees. Again, exposed ankles. And then for the ankles, you have another ball hinge, which you can swivel around and get pretty good range however you want, though again, it is very tiny. So in, in a lot of ways, they've improved the articulation, but because of the clothing, which is just always gonna be the case, that's just the inherent nature of this kind of thing, you are still limited in, in most of your poses. So I'm still gonna give the articulation only a six. I mean, it is the nature of the beast, no pun intended, but it is still the case. So if you're buying this, you're already expecting that, and uh, now you know that that is what you're gonna get. So, final verdict on this guy. It's definitely not bad. I think if the face looked like him from every angle rather than just most of them, I would definitely recommend this for sure. As it is, I'm only gonna give it a seven overall. Um, obviously, if you pose him at all and don't look at him directly head on, it's gonna probably look fine to you, but you need to know that the face is weird and he does have bare ankles, if that's a problem. If it's not a problem, then it's fine. But the clothing's really nice, lots of accessories, reasonably poseable. I think if you're into this kind of stuff, you're gonna like it. And so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should, because I have new videos up just about every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.